So for 31 years, we've been meeting together with the burning bowl, a chance to let go of the past and come into the present. Uh, there's, yesterday was the day, or day before yesterday, was the day of the wolf moon. And uh, it's called wolf moon because it's when the wolves howl the loudest. Oh, Some oh, say oh. it's there. They're howling to let go of the past, so that's kind of anthropomorphic. But some say it's the time of the year when they really need the tribe to the other wolves, calling in lots of wolves because it's extra cold, makes a difficult time. And in Sweden, and there's a folk tradition among some indigenous folks that around the full moon, uh, some of the men and older boys go out into the forest and dress up as wolves and howl real loud. <laughs> And then it's up to the kids and the women and the other men in the, in, the, in the village to sing a song to keep the wolves back. It's a song of hope and, and the song of desire for what can come next. And, and in a very real sense, that's what we're doing. You could have done this at home. Some of you may have already done it at home. But by gathering together in community and facing together into the collective past and the collective grief of what was 2022 and a lot of confusion, a lot of pain for a lot of folks. Also had some good stuff and that we can affirm and lift up. We lift it up together and face into the future. So as we prepare to light the flame, it's not a big roaring bonfire. The fire department wouldn't like that. But it's a flame of intention flame into which we can separately and collectively let go of the past and anything that was binding us and literally open into the future. So that we'll be leading the process and you are invited to participate fully. So I just invite you to be aware that when you came in, hopefully you were given a packet of uh, with two different pieces of paper, a uh, plain piece of coffee paper that you'll use later to write an affirmation and uh, that will go to yourself, as well as a much smaller piece of Josh or Joss or prayer paper. And um, you'll be using that for the burning wool. Uh, you also should have received a lap board, an envelope, and a pen. And uh, if anyone doesn't have all that, just raise your hand and we'll get that to you. Everybody's got it? Good. So I'm going to invite you first to take the envelope and address the envelope to yourself. And this would be an address to yourself that you are certain that you would be able to receive that next December because we'll be mailing this letter back to you next December. Once you've addressed the envelope um, to yourself, set the envelope and the large piece of paper off to the side and pick up the small piece of prayer paper and just relax with that as we wait for the group. So now I invite you to just, with eyes open or eyes closed, just to sit for a moment in the awareness that you are love. You are the one light, the one love, the one divine consciousness that is made manifest in a human form. And feel the truth that you are free to make new choices in each moment. You're free to make those choices at any point in time in your life 
But today, right here, right now, this is your moment to choose. And you have absolutely nothing to lose by releasing, by letting go of whatever it is that holds you, old habits, or thoughts, relationships, limitations that no longer serve you. So allow yourself to sink into this awareness that you are a divine being living in a human body. That every person, place, or situation you have ever encountered is a part of a path that has brought you to this moment where you are fully inhabiting your true divine nature, expressing as you now. Don't you feel your willingness to face any and all of the so-called mistakes that you have made, to take a look at your seeming shortcomings and see that you could not have arrived at this particular time and place without having walked the path you have thus far. Feel that in fact your life and everything in it is a blessing, is an opportunity to unfold more and more of your unlimited potential. There is nothing, nothing in your past that you need to regret or reject. free to release any unwanted attachments, anything that no longer serves you. Is there a habit or relationship that you wish to release? Is there something you have done or haven't done but wish you had? something which you've been carrying around as a burden? Won't you let yourself become fully aware of what you choose to release? Let it come into focus. Whatever it is that you choose to release your attachments to, and sit with that awareness for a few moments. Write those words or draw that image 
And don't worry, it does not need to be perfect. Just a few letters, some simple lines that represent the essence of what it is that you are releasing. Whenever you are finished with that process, and the, set the prayer paper aside and pick up the larger white piece of paper and begin to shift your consciousness in preparation for writing a letter of affirmation to yourself to be opened in December. And as much as possible, let go of any preconceived notions of what you will write or draw. And simply be present with what is right here, right now. And if you've already started writing your letter, that's okay. Just set it aside. You can start over on the back. Now breathe deeply and quietly as you move inward, as you return to who you truly are, an infinite being, one who is truly free and unlimited, fully capable of manifesting the divine. filled with 
with the awareness of the limitless possibilities that lie before you in the year 2023 and beyond. Allow a sense of expansiveness and peacefulness both to move through you as you breathing deeply into the power and presence alive in this moment. Breathe into your intention to affirm all that is new, all that is moving toward you with infinite peace and power. Feel yourself alive the infinite and unlimited intelligence flowing through you freely as you pick up your pen and your blank piece of paper and write yourself a letter, a poem, or a formless flow of words affirming the possibilities you choose to embrace in the coming year. Or perhaps you'd rather draw than write. Remember that there is no right way, no wrong way to co-create your future. This is for you and you alone to decide in the silence of your heart, in the wide open spaces of this blank piece of paper before you. Don't worry about the spelling, punctuation. Doesn't need to be an essay. Simply stay focused on your feelings, on creating this affirmative field of intention as you write, draw now. finished writing yet, I invite you to just take another moment to bring your writing to a close and to fold your piece of paper and seal it in the envelope you've addressed to yourself. And you're free to do with this what you want, but I encourage you to resist the temptation to take it home and finish it later, to uh, seal it up. Because there is real power in this room, in this community, in this circle of friends and strangers that uh, are, are offering you right now this loving, supportive energy. Supporting you in creating and affirming and celebrating this intention that you've just put on paper. So feel all of that power and more contained in this envelope and in the prayer paper. And we'll begin now as we, um, whenever you're ready to come down front. And you can bring your letter of intention and place it in the basket and bring your prayer paper hold your prayer paper to the flame and then as it lights you can drop it into the bowl and watch it release we invite you to stay in a state of meditative focused consciousness as much as possible as you place your envelope in the basket, as you feel the power of turning your visions and affirmations over to spirit, supported by the power of this community.
Thank you. 